escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. If you are a student of the Bible, you know the part from which I take that story. It's the story of angels coming to Sodom. Because the cup of iniquity of Sodom was already full. And the Lord decided that judgment was coming upon Sodom. Actually, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, in his mercy, in his compassion, in his love, he had told Abraham, his friend, he said, can I do anything without telling my friend Abraham? And so he told him. And Abraham began to pray. Abraham began to intercede for Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said, if you find 50 people there who are righteous, who are following you, who are walking in the way of the Lord, will you not spare them? And he said, if I find 50 righteous people there, I will spare them. And then Abraham went to 45, to 40, to 30, to 20, and even to 10. And God eventually said in his promise, a covenant with his friend Abraham, if I find 10 righteous people there, I will spare the land. And then God went his way. Abraham went his way. And two angels then came to Sodom. And then they told Lot what was going to happen. But as Lot went out to tell all those that were related to him, it appeared he was joking. They didn't believe what he said. Eventually, the angels laid hold on Lot and his wife and the two daughters that were there and said, come out of this place. Escape for your life. Look not behind you. Escape to the mountain top. And then he says, so that you will not be consumed with the sin, with the iniquity of this land. And today, it's your day of escape. I told you already, when we escape, we're not escaping into nothingness. There are some people that, you know, they say they get delivered and they are set free and they escape. And then I ask them, what are you doing now? After that glorious escape. Oh, they said, I just praise the Lord because I've escaped. Look at Isaiah chapter 37. When you escape, and thank God you are going to escape. Then something beautiful, something great must happen in your life. It says in Isaiah chapter 37, I'm reading from Pastachi, and there shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such as grows of itself, and the second year that we springeth of the same. And in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards, and eat of the fruit thereof. Verse 31, and the remnant that is escaped, and the remnant that is escaped, and the believing remnant that is escaped, and the favored remnant that is escaped, and the faithful remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. You see, after we escaped, is to escape into fruitfulness and to escape into success and to escape into spiritual growth. And as we escape today, something beautiful will be added to your life in Jesus' name. And then the Lord is saying, we have a part to play. What part do we have to play? I'm looking at Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21, our escape demands something from us. Our escape demands a decision from us. You cannot just stay there and fold your hand and not even pray and not even watch and not even make any attempt at all and say, I'm escaping, I'm escaping. You will do something. The angels brought them out and the angels commanded them and the angels instructed them, escape for your life. You have something to do. It's an imperative. 
It's not a suggestion. It's his command. It's a command. And he says, this is what you do. You must make an effort. You don't want to be a kind of lazy Christian, indolent Christian, a kind of do-nothing Christian. You must be up and doing. You will do what you need to do. In Luke chapter 21, I'm reading from verse 36, then I'll back up to verse 34. Verse 36, so you will know, we're talking about the people that want to escape. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that she may be accounted worthy to escape. That she may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. It says, when you escape, you do that in order to stand before the Son of Man. It's talking about him on the final escape, that is, escaping the great tribulation. Escaping the great calamity coming upon this world. Escaping the reign and the rule of the Antichrist. That you are going to escape, you will escape in Jesus' name. In fact, that is the sum total of all escape. It is the father of all escape. It is the mother of all escape. It is the final purpose and the final goal and the final destination of all escape. What if a person escapes sickness now and is not able to escape the Antichrist in the future? He escapes poverty now. He is not able to escape the great tribulation in the future. He escapes all the calamities of the world now. He is not able to escape all the pain and punishment and the evil that will come upon the world at the time of the great tribulation the final escape is what the lord is talking about here that you will watch and pray that you will not be kind of bogged down with the affairs of this life and then you'll be able to escape and then to stand before the son of man when he comes it will happen in jesus name now i back up to verse 34 it says take heed to yourselves you see that here is the lord jesus christ saying yes i made a way for you to escape yes i've made a way for you to overcome all the difficulties and all the challenges but then it says you'll take it unto yourselves lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness lest at any time any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness lest at any time Let's take the retreat time, for example. There are people that come to retreat time and, you know, their hands are still overcharged. You're suffering and drunkenness. I'm not even talking about, you know, drinking all those intoxicating things, but they drink, they're just to eat and drink, eat and drink, eat and drink. All they want is an easy life and easy accommodation and easy whatever. It is. the Lord. Praise the Lord. I welcome everybody on our 
prayer conference in this uh, very hour in Jesus' name. Amen. And I am the living God that the very God of prosperity, the God of the universe, the unbeatable God, the irreversible God, the one that has been before the world began, the Almighty is going to favor everybody, is going to bless everybody. And by the power of God, you tonight will be connected to your wealth, to your prosperity, to your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, as we come to pray, I want you to focus and I want you to uh, have a focus tonight prayer meeting. Don't allow anything to uh, divert your attention and to make you not to get the best from the Lord tonight. Because everything you needed tonight has been provided. Your healing has been provided. Your deliverance has been provided. Your miracle has been provided. Your breakthrough has been provided. Everything that God has made for you tonight, tonight, the power of God will connect you. As it connects you, you will enjoy prosperity. You will enjoy peace. You will enjoy deliverance. You will enjoy the benefit that Calvary has provided for you and your, for, for your family in Jesus' name. <laughs> Let's pray together as we commence the prayer tonight. Nine, 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 nine. Our Father, we thank you because you are the God of power. You are the God of prosperity. You are the God of breakthrough. You are the God of revival. And you are the God of miracles. And you are the God of signs and wonders. With you, all things are possible. Father, we come tonight in this prayer conference, in this prayer altar, in this prayer meeting. We come tonight as we gather all over the globe, as we lift up our voice to the throne of grace. We pray tonight, may your spirit visit us, attend to us, and every request of your people tonight, you will see to it in Jesus' name. Amen. All our brothers, all our sisters who are who are far behind us tonight, we pray you will hasten them. And those who are sleeping, you will wake them up. And those who are who are wanting or the other, they are weak. We pray strength from above, stamina from above, energy. We come upon their sister. We come upon their bone. We come upon their marrow. We pray you will raise them up. They will connect as they connect. They will receive the blessing from the Lord even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that you will do great things without number in our midst. Great miracle, Amen. great prosperity, great breakthrough, great deliverance. Let may it be poor upon your people even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I will want us to emote ourselves. This is a prayer meeting, and this is not a quiet time. When we come, come to pray, we come to pray. So, therefore, I want you to open your mouth to begin to bless the Lord, appreciate the Lord, give him the glory due unto his name. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Please immute yourself. Immute yourself, please. Except you are busy. I said you are on a special duty. If you are not on a special duty, please immute yourself. Sister Peace, please immute yourself. Pastor Paul, please immute yourself. Please let every one of us immute ourselves. This is prayer meeting. So that you can you can hear yourself while praying. And the leader leading you can also listen to you, hear you while you are praying. We call for prayer meeting. And tonight, prayer meeting is going to be a thought. It's going to be an addition to your life. Immune yourself, brothers and sisters. 
give you honor and adoration. We thank you, Father, and Lord Jesus, Christ, for the opportunity granted unto us, O so Lord, to be alive and to be at your feet, Father, Lord, this evening. We appreciate you. We magnify you. We exalt you. We give you honor and adoration, Father, Lord. Because we appreciate God. Because of the name of the Lord, he is the King of Kings, he is the Lord of Lords, he is the God that you are right today. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we exalt you. Greater than the greater, the I am that I am, the unbeatable, the unreversible, the unchangeable. All my people, I pray you watch over your life. Give me the glory to you all today. Is a God of battle. He has been taking care of every battle in your life. He is a God of prosperity. He bless you and for you to have more than an abundance. Because he has, he has, he has, he has always feed you. He has satisfied your mouth with good things. Give him the glory due unto his name. Give him the adoration due unto his name. Worship him, adore him, glorify him, exalt him. Magnify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Overshammer, the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Lords. Unbeatable, unreversible, unchangeable, almighty God, worship the King of Kings for the gift of life. Bless His name for the gift for you to be alive today. Give Him the glory due unto His name. Our God is a good God. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless His holy name. Bless its holy name. Bless its holy name. If God is if God has been so good to you, bless its holy name. If the Lord has blessed you already, bless its holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul. And all Bless the holy name. Bless the Lord for my soul. And forget, Lord, all the benefits. Bless the Lord for my soul. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity? Who forgiveth all thy diseases? Who forgiveth the life from destruction? They grant thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfy your mouth with good peace of mind? So that your that you are like the eagle, what you do, satisfy your mouth with good things, what you do, you will repeat your life of destruction, what you do, you will grant you with loving kindness and tender mercy, what you do, you forgive all your iniquity, what you do, you heal all your diseases. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Sister, bless the Lord of my soul. Brother, bless the Lord of my soul. If God has been good to you, so gratitude unto him. So gratitude unto him. The first quarter of the year is almost gone. The first quarter of the year is almost gone. The first quarter of the year is almost gone. Worship in this first quarter is the God of power. You preserve your life this first quarter. Worship in this first quarter. Many water are passed and under the bridge. You are still alive. Worship in this first quarter. You have not spent your life, your days in the in your hospital or in the mortuary. Worship him. Our God is a good thing. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. The Lord that is within me. My strength, bless the Lord. In my heart, I bless the Lord. My spirit, bless the Lord. My soul, bless the Lord. All that is within me. My substance, bless the Lord. My property also, bless the Lord with me. All oh, that is within me. Come, you great. I will give unto thee 
in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened to you tonight? The Lord will lift you up tonight. As you bless the Lord, as you worship the Lord, as you adore the Lord, every yoke of poverty will destroy your life. Every yoke of penury, God will take every yoke of penury out of your life. Every yoke of want, God will remove it out of your life. You will not be the same again. The power of God will connect you to your prosperity. Divine helper will locate you. That is why we come to pray. That is why we come to see the face of the Lord. That is why we come to connect to the God of heaven. Tonight is the night of your abundance. Tonight is the night of your prosperity. Tonight is the night of your plenty. Tonight is the night of your riches. Tonight is the night of connection with your life. You will be remembered for tonight because the Lord will remember you this particular night. It's the night to be remembered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God. Internal God of ages, the unbeatable God, the unreversible, the unconquerable God, the God of yesterday, today, and forever. We worship you tonight. We bless you tonight. We thank you because of your presence that is present upon this conference tonight. We are we call before you tonight as we are going to exalt ourselves to the word of the Lord, we pray tonight, may you give us quick, quick understanding and help us to understand the program and your prosperity in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we pray that every life will be blessed beyond our expectation. Whatever cost working against anyone prosperity, we pray you are going to break every cost out from your, your people and blessing will follow your people in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Before we log into the prayer section once again, I want to exhort. Uh, every one of us with the word of God. So that by the grace of God, God will take you to your prosperity in Jesus' name. Because if we don't know the promise of God in our life, we will be operating in a low dimension. But tonight, God will lift you up. As God lifts you up, you will possess your possession. And at the end of the prayer meeting tonight, every spirit of poverty will be destroyed out of our knees in Jesus' name. Uh, man. Please emote yourself. I expect everyone to emote yourself, please. And so that I want to hear your, your response as we are in this prayer conference. I read from the book of Genesis, about 55, verse 11. If you are with your Bible, please open your Bible. If you are not with your Bible, listen to me as I quote the scripture to you. And there will I will know I be. For yet, there are five years of famine. Lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty. Here was Joseph in Egypt. God have raised Joseph to be the prime minister in Egypt. He's not in charge in Egypt of the prosperity of Egypt. But then there was a famine in the land of Egypt. His brethren came to possess food over there. He told them, Five years of famine upon the land. He said, Call so that all that thou hast may not come to poverty. Tonight, I'm talking to you about destroying the yoke of poverty. Destroying the yoke of poverty. Every poverty in your life, every poverty that you have inherited, tonight, the power of God will destroy those yoke of poverty 
out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. Man, wealth is is strong city. The destruction of the poor is their property. In Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine. Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that ye through his poverty may be rich. That he through his poverty may be rich. Jesus died so for you to become for you to become rich spiritually, materially, physically, and otherwise. Right, right, right. May, may I say something, men and brethren? Poverty is poverty by poverty key. One of the most destructive social virus is poverty. The psalmist say. He has satisfied my mouth with good things, so that my mouth is renewed like the eagle of a true. No one truly enjoys poverty. Over, all over the world, every man wish long life and prosperity. No one wants to be wish long life and poverty. Poverty. Has no friend, poverty. Has no brother, poverty. Has no parent, poverty. Is an orphan, and no one want to identify itself with poverty. No one, in his right mind, wish to be poor. A poor man is an orphan indeed. In fact, the Bible defines poverty as a cause. But God, but thank God. The cause of poverty was destroyed on the cross of Calvary. As we wage war against this killer disease called poverty, it's a disease. And do you know, brethren, poverty is not of God. If poverty is not the will of God for your life. The Bible says, Behold, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as I so prospered. Jesus came to give you life and abundant life. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not to keep to steal to destroy, but Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The good news Jesus announced in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, include liberation from poverty. The Bible clearly reveals that Satan is the devourer. Satan is a thief. He destroyed. He came to see, to see your salvation, to see your property, to see your wealth. To see your breakthrough is all to do all those evil things and to consume people, riches, and resources. That was his mission. Poverty produced embarrassment. Mm. Poverty, it produced embarrassment. And that is why we must make, make war, wage war against the spirit of. Of party. Let me tell you something. Men and men and men and men and men and whatever work you are doing, whatever salary you are receiving, you need God prosperity upon that work. You need God Almighty because the money you are earning at the end of the month cannot even carry you. How much for you and your family? How much for you and your you and your household? That is why. Pray for God provision. You must pray for breakthrough. You must pray that every spirit of poverty in your life, every spirit you have inherited from your from your from your from your ancestors of poverty, the Lord in His power will destroy all sorts of spirits that is working against your prosperity, working against your breakthrough, working against your your income. God power will banish and destroy such prominence out of your life in Jesus' name. 
Because tonight God is going to raise up Midonia. Because tonight God is going to visit you as God visits you and all those holes, all those arrows, and all those things that the devil have come to manipulate your resources. And then you have not enough, the power of God will cross that off your life and the door will open in your life. Prosperity will come into your life. In abundance in your life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Poverty must die in your life, and it must be eradicated. And you will receive the abundance of God in your life. That is why you are going to close your eyes once again. Appreciate God because Christ has redeemed you from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for us. God said this everyone that anchored upon the tree. That the blessing of Abraham may come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. You are going to bless the Lord because the power of poverty has been destroyed from the, at the cross of Calvary. Christ has redeemed you. He has, you have to claim the blessing of prosperity. You have to claim the blessing of abundance. You have to claim the blessing of supply. You have to claim that blessing. Open your mouth, appreciate God, and tell him, God, I appreciate you because Christ has redeemed me from the cause of the Lord. Every cause of lack in my life, my life, my life, my life, my life has redeemed me. Every cause of stagnancy, the power of the cross, I push it out of my mind. Open your mouth and appreciate and worship God for that. Open your mouth and appreciate God and worship God for that. Property must die. Property must not remain in your life. Abraham was rich in cattle. You must be rich because you are the seed of Abraham. Abraham was rich in cattle. He was rich in material blessing. Why not? If not, you must. You must possess the, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Your father owned the land. He was the resources. This is the time for you to, to claim the prosperity of God in your life. No, 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 need God, no matter how, no matter your income, you, you, that income you need God to qualify you because your income you are receiving at the end of the month, and your income of any income cannot carry, cannot be sufficient. You need God to prosper you, my brother. You need God to make a way for you, my sister. You need God. The Bible says you will eat the rich of the Gentiles. The purpose of God for you that strangers will build your wall and you will eat the rich of the Gentiles. Every property attached to my life I have destroyed in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. We are waging war against poverty. Poverty you inherit from your father. Poverty you inherit from your uncle. Poverty you inherit from your grand grand ancestors. We are waging war against the spirit of poverty. You are a child of God. You are a king. You are a priest. You have to have the kingship of authority and, 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 and the beneficiary of the king, the, the king's himself. Don't give your life tonight. Don't depend upon your salary. Your salary cannot carry you. Don't depend upon your income. Your income is not sufficient. At the end of the month, I have said, I have borrowed me money here, borrowed me money, borrowed, borrowed, borrowed. How long will your father hold the land? Your father holds the land. You must be the riches of the gentiles. It is your possible for you to eat the earth of the Gentiles, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brother, I wonder, I want you to pray. 
if you will pray this prayer, I, 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 I want to promise you 12 hours from now, you will see great doors. You will receive a call, a call of open door. In fact, people that are supposed to pay you money, they are holding you. They will be calling you. Where have you been? Come and take your money. Where have you been? Come and take your, come and take your, 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 your money. Uh, they, they will be the one uh, policing you. Come and take your thing. You, it has been so long. I've been looking for you. And tonight, that contract, tonight, that business will come alive. Tonight, your 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 pocket, the Lord is going to bless you. I'm telling you, if only you know the God you are serving. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. He made a cause for us. God said this everyone that acted upon the tree, that the blessing of Abraham, <laughs> that the blessing of Abraham may call upon the Gentiles through Jesus. You are going to pray, oh God, oh God, release the blessing of Abraham upon my life. Release the blessing of Abraham upon my family. Release the blessing of Abraham upon my household. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. The blessing of Abraham. The year of poverty, Christ has redeemed me from the cause of poverty. Every spirit of poverty and stagnation, I reject it. I rebuke it. I cancel it out of my life. Call upon the law. The Lord has redeemed you from the cause of the law. Call upon the law. Every cause of poverty, the yoke of poverty, oh God, destroy it out of my life. Working like a lion, speaking like an elephant. Pray that the power of the Almighty God will walk by the of the land. The yoke of poverty must be eradicated. The spirit of poverty, the limitation of that spirit must be broken out of my life, out of my household, in the name of Jesus. Command, talk to God in prayer. Proclamation, you are redeemed. You will be remembered. You will be remembered. Gentiles will remember you, and you will eat the riches of the Gentiles. That is what the word of God says. Strangers will build your wall for you. I wish above all that mere prosper and be in health. Call upon the law. Know your right and know your position. Abundant life is your possession. Prosperity is your possession. Breakthrough is your possession. Call upon the law. We pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible says, Your covenant with death shall not stand, and your agreement right. with death shall not stand. You have got to pray every covenant in my life that is strengthening the strong cause of poverty. You have got to pray that strong cause. I break you. Every stronghold, every covenant that is strengthening the strongholds of poverty in my life. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Oh, pull your mouth and pray. Let that covenant be broken. Any covenant that is strengthening the strongholds of poverty in my life. Oh God, I break it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I dismantle it in the name of Jesus. Any covenant that is straight from God of poverty in my life, call up for the law. The power of God will break it out of your life. The spirit of God will remove it out of your life. It's a nine prosperity of prayer. This is prayer. When you pray this prayer, when you pray this prayer, people will bless. You are telling you, you are coming out of poverty. You are coming out from every poverty, of poverty, strong cause of poverty. You are coming out of in the name of Jesus. Come upon the Lord. We pray. Amen. The Bible says, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. You are going to bind 
and you are going to cast out every negative reinforcement of poverty, every negative war happening to your life. There are some people that speak evil word. They reinforce the only kind of poverty. They say you, you will die as a beggar. Ah, you will reject that type of statement in your life. They say you, you will live from hand to mouth. Ah, you will reject that in your life. You are going to pray. You are going to call upon the Lord. Every into my life. Oh God, deliver me from this world. Oh God, deliver me and my family. Every cause working against it, you are going to pray, Oh God, deliver me. All of the Lord, pray. I'm telling you, you will see a change. The family, you will see a change. In your life, you will see a change. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Lord will bring it to pass. You will see a change. The power of God will perfect this in your life. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The night of the prosperity. Tonight, I'm telling you, you will make it and the Lord will prosper you. Machinery, people, machinery working against your prosperity will be destroyed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible says for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the work of the devil. Every evil machinery working against your prosperity. Oh God, destroy it out of my life. Oh God, destroy it out of my life. Call upon the Lord. Machinery against your life, working against your prosperity, working against your breakthrough, working against your ad ad advancement in life. You are going to ask the Lord to destroy those evil machineries. You are going to ask the Lord to overthrow those evil machineries. All of for the law is a line of your remembrance. Jabez was most honorable that his brethren. He was more honorable. He prayed and the Lord blessed Jabez. Why not? The Lord blessed the Lord of the The door of breakthrough will be open tonight. The door of advancement will be open tonight. The door of your joy will be open tonight. The door of your blessing will be open tonight. It's your night of prosperity. It's your night of your breakthrough. The door is for you to prosper. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. God has just your life of prosperity. God, the Holy Ghost, has just your life. The Spirit of God, we has just your life. The power of God will adjust your mind. God will so give you so your heart to connect. The Holy Ghost will be positioned on your heart to take you to your place of prosperity. They will remember you for good, my sister. My brother, they will remember you for good, my brother. If you can sacrifice this set of weight upon the Lord, you are not yet to play to take that Lord. You are here to leave this set and to achieve your purpose. No, I don't think for me, for me, for me, for me. In the name of Jesus, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. The life will be a judge to God, prosperity, 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 dimension. Let God adjust your life with dimension of prosperity. Let God be monitoring your life, programming your life to prosperity. In the name of God, 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 in the Amen. Amen. You know what, my brothers and sisters, there are people that listen, listen to me, listen. There are people they have a good job. As they are working in that job and they are having good income. And then people began to jealous them. 
the way to meet um, a cultic man. That man that used evil power to adjust the man, the brother's life. As he adjusted it, he now fall to penury. He lost, he lost his job. He lost the opportunity in life with evil demonic power they used to adjust the man spiritually. He got, he got, he got to the place of work. As he, as he got to the place of work, the man late, just about two minutes, he came to the place of work very late, about two minutes, he ended up and sacked that man. He told me that he went to work, he came late, just two minutes, and the end he just sacked him without any, uh, <laughs> anything, but he just he him immediately with anger. That is demonic, satanic adjustment. They adjust that brother's life into property in front of penury. Hey, you are going to pray. If this power <laughs> adjusts you to property, to, to, to property, oh God, destroy the part of my life. Any Man. power that is trying to adjust your that is trying to adjust your life into property, you will fall upon the Lord. you are working you are working in a company and then it is your turn to be promoted all of a sudden your supervisor kick against it to the empty <laughs> and he opposes it and then all of a sudden they did not promote that brother because somebody opposed that your promotion letter you are going to pray hmm. you are going to dismantle every opposition to your prosperity your place of work or to your business you are going to pray oh god i i i i i Every demonic opposition to my prosperity in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer. All upon the Lord, in the name of Jesus, every demonic power that wants to walk against me, wants to walk against my wife, against any of my children, in the name of Jesus, I want to rise in the ugly against my wife, against my children, and never my family. Against my brother, against my brother, against my brother, Oh God, this man to every opposition to my prosperity. The power of God dismantled them out of my land. And brother, you are doing a promotion. Six years in that office. Six years in that place of work. All upon the law. Destroy them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everything that I do. In Jesus' name, all of you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Listen to me. There are some people. Listen to me. Yes, there are sir. some people that they place a cause in their life, the cause of property, 
And before those these people, they will borrow, borrow, borrow. Then they are living from hand to mouth. No money every day. No money, no money, no money. And they are working. And then opportunity in life is not coming for them. Advancement in life is not from them. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Is everyone that had a head upon the tree, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, If ye are in Christ, are ye Abraham's seed? Eh, according to his promises, you are the seed of Abraham. So, any cause of stress upon your life, you are going to go consume that cause by fire. And the cause of the cannot. you need the fight to damage you. You need the fight to damage you.